Hey, it's Big T. Uh, with the advent and popularity of Euro nymphing, we've kind of seen a migration um, in fly tying towards a little bit simpler patterns and patterns that sink a little bit faster. So they're a little bit more slender. We, uh, the Frenchie, which is what I'm going to tie today, a variation of. Um, uh, it's taken a, a general pheasant tail, made it a little bit simpler, easier to tie, quicker to tie. Uh, you could say the same for the waltz worm in a hare's ear, but um, what I'm tying today is, is uh, a Frenchie, but we're going to use a different material that's going to aid in the um, uh, strength of the fly. Uh, it's a little bit more durable fly but give the same effect versus going to a thread body. Uh, this is still going to have some of that effect of uh, the, the coloration of the pheasant tail that we like so much. So this is the uh, camo, uh, Simon Camo Frenchie. All right, we're going to start with a 3.0 millimeter slotted tungsten copper bead. Uh, and that is on a size 16 um, jig claw hook, big T jig claw hook, and I am going to start by tying in some black thread. This is a Semperfly ADOT product. I've really gotten to uh, become a big fan of their threads and other products. We're going to tie that to the back of the hook. And we're going to tie in for our tail, uh, which is typical of the Frenchie flies, a Coq de Leon or CDL tail. And we're going to we're going to take about three or four of the fibers from that and pull them down so that the tips stay straight before we remove those and I'm going to tie those in I want this tail to be about the equivalent three quarters to one times the length of the hook shank we're going to tie that uh, or bring the thread back up a good ways before we trim off the excess here. We're going to come back down and begin to build just a little bit of a taper. We'll be able to build up more of a taper once we get our Simon camo thread in. Next material I'm going to tie in is going to be some extra small it's extra small ultra wire looks like it's not wanting to stay in focus on me so we'll tie that in right behind the bead wrap back a little ways and then come back up because I'm going to tie in the Simon camo thread this is number 20, and as you can see, that thread really gives a nice little variegation that looks very similar to a pheasant tail coloration, and you'll notice that when we wrap it. I'm going to tie that in just behind the bead as well, and we're going to wrap both of these, or carry that back and then as we come forward we're going to come forward first with that Simon camo thread and if you would like we're doing touch and turns here if you would like a more tapered body, just take that back down 
to about the three quarter point and then come back up to the front. We'll come over top with our thread a couple times, once or twice in front and trim off our excess here. Then we'll come over top with our wire. I've chosen extra small because this doesn't, sometimes you need a little thicker wire on a true pheasant tail fiber because it'll sink in some. This doesn't really have a tendency to do that. And so it shows up fine. I'm gonna get a pair of junk scissors, come in and cut from the very back end of the scissors just to make sure I don't dull them any more than necessary. And then I'm gonna do a quick whip finish with this black thread. We're gonna come in with another Yon Simon product. Uh, and this is their UV reflective thread. Um, this actually reflects a good bit. And I find it to be as effective as using like a UV ice dubbing. A um, little bit more slender profile and we'll just create a nice little hot spot with that I'm not worried about a real strong whip finish there because I'm gonna come in with just a a dab of solar res this is their medium viscosity and what I'm going to do is create almost like a wing case but it's just clear and I like the effect that that gives the fly and at the same time it's really gonna secure that thread in good I think you can see kind of how that that thread lights up when the UV hits it, the light hits it. And we'll cure that. And that's it. Real quick, real easy. Um, that's the Saman Camo Frenchie. Looks a lot more like a pheasant tail than your average thread body fly, but at the same time it's got the, the durability and the ease to tie of a thread body Frenchie. Hope you enjoyed this. You can find these products and lots more stuff on my website at BigTFlyFishing.com. Uh, I'd love it if you would subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks so much.